Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create your schedule. If you haven't watched our video called Picking Your Courses, do that first. Now that you have a list of classes that you want to take, it's time to start scheduling. You'll need a few things. The academic timetable, which is found at dal.ca slash timetable, a blank schedule, a pencil, and some patience. Before we start making your schedule, let's get acquainted with the academic timetable. It looks pretty complicated at first, but you just need to know what you're looking for. Here's the title of the course. If you see a course that has an X or a Y following the title, this means that it's an XY course. An XY course is year-long and must be completed in two consecutive terms from September to April to receive the credit. In most cases, it is a six credit hour course. You can see how many credit hours courses are worth in this column. If a course doesn't have an X or Y following the title, it is just one semester long and usually worth three credit hours. You can see which semesters the courses are offered by checking here. Lectures are always listed in this yellow beige color, tutorials are always listed in blue, and labs are always listed in green. You can also find out what component of the course you're looking at by checking this column. You need to register for every component of a course. So, if there are two beige lecture sections and 10 blue tutorial sections, you will pick one lecture and one tutorial. You can't register for one without the other. This column lists the CRNs for all lectures, labs, and tutorials. CRN stands for Course Reference Number. This is a code that identifies every unique lecture, tutorial, or lab time, and you need it to ensure that you're registering for the right sections. Finally, in this section, you'll find the enrollment info. Here's where you can find out how many seats are in the class and how full it is so far. Okay, let's get started. We're going to prioritize by writing down the courses that we want the most first. We're using a blank timetable and a pencil in order to ensure that before you register, you have a conflict-free schedule that works for you. We'll use this example list of courses to demonstrate. The first course we'll be looking up is English 1040. We need to click on English and find this course on the timetable. There it is. You can see that the lectures for this course are on Mondays and Wednesdays. There's only one lecture section, so that's what we'll write in our blank timetable. See here. You'll also need to select a tutorial. Sometimes it's best to write in all of your lecture times on your schedule first, and then go back and write in your tutorials or lab times. This is suggested because there are usually many more tutorials or labs to choose from than there are lectures, so they'll be easier to fit in. Another piece of information that we need to write on our blank timetable is the CRN. In our example, the CRN for English 1040 is 10953. Note, CRNs for fall classes always start with a 1, CRNs for winter classes always start with a 2, and CRNs for summer courses always start with a 3. The CRN for a tutorial in this example is 10954. See how we've written them in on our schedule? Continue this procedure for the rest of your courses for both the fall and winter terms until you have a schedule that works for you. Consider, are you a morning person? Do you commute? Are you scheduling manageable breaks for lunch, working out at the Dalplex, or your extracurricular activities? All of these factors should be taken into consideration when building your schedule. Sometimes, some of your selected courses will conflict with each other. To remedy this, check to see if either of the classes have alternate lecture sections with a time that works better for you. If so, switch your selection to that one. Otherwise, you might have to pick an alternate course. This is what our completed example schedule looks like. Yours might look similar or it might look very different. You can always contact the first year advising team if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.